How's it going YouTube? Chris aka X9 here and today I wanted to show you guys fidget cubes and how to take them apart since every video I've seen nobody knows how to do it properly. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little review of these three here and kind of of that one but not really. Um, I'm going to put links in the description to all of these and a time to skip to if you want to skip this little review I'm going to do here. Alright, so for the first one, this is your basic clone from straight from China, like two bucks on wish.com. It's pretty crappy. I mean, this joystick, sometimes it will push down like a button, but it doesn't really move compared to this one. I mean, this one, you can move it pretty far. It doesn't push down like this one, but this one just barely moves. Um, it's just cheap all around. The switch is hard to press. The one thing I do like about it are these clicky wheels here. They, they actually click. Um, but that's really about it. All five buttons are clicky. And then on this one, this one came from uh, speedcubeshop.com. Oh yeah, and on this one the buttons are plastic. On here they're rubber. Uh, but this one came from speedcubeshop.com. Uh, I'm into puzzles if you can't really tell. Uh, and yeah, whenever I saw that they got them, I was like, you know what, I'll get one. I originally thought I wouldn't whenever they came out. Uh, I thought it was kind of stupid since I have so many puzzles. I was like, I can just fidget with one of those. Anyways, on this one, it's just much nicer. This thing spins really well, and I'll show you why here in a minute. This switch feels good. The joystick, as I showed you, feels good. It doesn't push down, but you can pull it up. Um these wheels spin free unlike this one where they click they're, this, they're both the same type where they're sharp but free versus clicking this metal ball does it clicks down which is really nice should do the joystick works well the worry stone thing the exact same on both this one actually has like a TPU type coating on there a little bit of a softer touch to it but whatever uh, but yeah, and then this one, I love this one. It's much larger, if you can't tell. Um, it came from eBay for like eight bucks, eight or nine bucks, something like that. And it's got so much crap going on. Uh, actually, this is probably my favorite part. I don't know why, it's just a, like a little silicone rubber pad. And then you get little squeeze ball things and faders, which are really nice. And, oh, the one thing I hate about this one that these aren't in line with each other so you can't move all three up at once very well unless like you do something like that but that doesn't even really work but yeah and this is a little wheel my camera would focus on it it's a little wheel that's also a button this joystick is really nice um, there's a little bit of a push to it of a button these things spin completely free but they are smoother than say these these are really spiky and these are really smooth they still have some ridges to them uh, let's see if I can get this to focus nope not gonna focus all right anyways uh, you got buttons little stretchy thing here yeah all right so let's get into these all right so every video I've seen everyone destroys theirs and I marred this one up pretty good trying to get into it at first and then I sat down and I was like, well, if that comes off, then what about this? And sure enough, that's how you get into these. Jam your tool in there. And I'm using what's called an Isesimo. Uh, awesome little tool for working on phones and stuff. Just thin metal, flexible. And let's see if I can do this while on camera. There. You just got to dig up underneath it. It comes out. And the reason this one spins so well... There's actually a ball bearing down in there. But yeah, you take out these two screws. Let's see here. I've got a screwdriver right here. And neither one of, or none of these are, you know, the actual original fidget cube. So I'm not 100% sure how that comes apart. Uh, but I'm assuming it's close to this one. So you take out your two screws here. And then you 
could pry on it, do whatever, but now it will come apart. When I say that, let's see here. Man, it's hard to do on camera. There we go. So, your buttons are up underneath here. Uh, what's really odd about this one is it is magnetic. And the reason is for this joystick. Uh, give me a second here and I will actually get into it. Let me grab something to push this out. So for your next step, you're going to need to remove this. Uh, your little switch there. And the way that I found best is to take something fine and get down in here. And what you you need to push on the other side of that pin that's up there. So I'm probably going to do this off camera since I'm super blind. Um, so yeah, just give me one second. I'm going to try to do it on camera first. But I have no idea if I'll be able to. Uh, actually, it looks like I'm going to. Yeah, cool. Alright, so that comes out. And then your switch will come out. And this can be kind of a pain since it's magnetic so it wants to stay down but so you get two magnets there two screws and these two screws I don't know how crucial they are to holding anything together right here because it's how your switch works this is what the it snaps down to those two magnets I do know they are different lengths see how that just got stuck there it's magnetic I do know that they are a different length than the other two we've already pulled. This video is probably going to run a little long, so somebody taking apart three of these things. Uh, this one I have not really taken apart. It is a different process, but I haven't gotten that far into it. All right, I've already lost track of all my screws here. Oh yeah, I need to take out that one. So actually those other two I just removed, I don't think you need to. Remove you. And then what was next? Uh, I don't remember. What is holding it there? Oh, that pin, duh. So Slide that pin over. There we go. All right. So these will all fall apart if you're not careful. There might be a way to move these clicky wheels over to this one. And if that's possible, oh, that would make this thing so much nicer. All right. Now this is the cool part. Get off my screwdriver. Yeah, I found out where that other screw went. All right, that one, and that one. I'm gonna angle the camera down a little bit, but it's driving some of you guys insane. By the way, I uh, randomly hit 200 subscribers here on YouTube, so thank you guys, even though I don't really upload ever. Um, so if you guys wanna subscribe, that's cool. I mean, I rarely ever upload, but yeah. All right, so now that we got that off, that comes out. This is actually really cool how it works. It's a, essentially it's a metal just ball bearing and then with a flat spot that makes contact with the magnet down there. So without this in place it is gonna get stuck off to the side but pretty sweet. Alright and I don't know if there's a way to get beyond here. There might be. I know this ball bearing can come out because it came out the first time I pulled off that but I don't think it's going to all right I'm just gonna leave this one in pieces and move on to the next one so let's go ahead and do that I will get it back together later maybe uh, yeah I don't know what's underneath here sorry I just got a notification on my phone 
uh, I don't feel like taking that apart because that's going to be a pain to get back together, I imagine. This one is slightly different. This does not come off like that one did, but this does come out. But it is different. There is no bearing down in there. It is just straight plastic on plastic, and that's why it spins like garbage compared to the other one. Same process, take out these two screws. I'm going to try and not get these screws mixed up with the ones from the other one. What's really simple to take apart is that one. All right. Get those two screws off to the side. And then this one, it does split apart, but instead of being three sides and three sides, it is... Uh, come undone. It is two and four. So for this one, what I imagined whenever I first started taking all these apart is that this is how they were all going to be. Basically dud uh, electronic components. Uh, I haven't tested these to see if they're duds. They could be, but they might be good. Ball bearing fell out. And here's your crappy plastic buttons. And then from here, I have not gotten past here because that is locked in. But if you look real close, you can see there is a gap in here, and I'm going to try and get in there on camera here. Let's see. Oh, let's please not make this a fail video. I do not want to slice my hand open. It makes it so much worse that I'm looking through my phone at this. Hmm. Oh. I don't think that will come off. So, to get this off... Uh, well, don't buy this one. How about that? <laughs> no, I'll keep trying here. Let's see what happens. Well, I just lost that one. No, no screws. It doesn't feel like there'd be screws holding anything in, but here's worth a look. Huh. And this is why doing it live is always bad. Alright, and we're back. My uh, camera literally crapped out right as I said that. That was pretty uh, ironic. Um, yeah, on this one, I'm going to give up on it. If I figure it out, I will uh, make a second video going into this one since I imagine most people have this one over that one. Or that one but yeah so let's move on to this one I'm sorry that that cut out there and actually I wasn't able to get into that since that's what I kind of promised to do but on this one I uh, originally had tried to peel this up to get into it but nope it's right here there's a little rubber cap that you just had have to get out a rubber cap and then take your screwdriver, jam it into this hole. Do the hokey pokey. And, uh, no. Screw came out. Simple as that. Now, in this one, it definitely is old electronics, which is awesome. Uh, this switch, I have tested this switch. It's good. Uh, I have tested... The faders I couldn't really get to test, um, but they do apparently work. This switch is a good switch, and same with these. Well, at least a couple of these. But yeah, on this one, it is uh, nicely made, and I, I mean, I paid like eight or nine bucks for it. And this one is easily my favorite, even though it's not pocket friendly. Uh, I keep it in my work bag, even though I really don't mess with these that much. I've been more into the whole fidget spinner thing. This is my favorite one. It spins really nice. Um, anyways, this one, I'm not going to delve into too far here. I just was more going to show off the internals just because it is, well, it looks like it's going to be a pain to get back together. 
and this video is already running pretty long. I'm going to have to do a little bit of editing uh, because my camera crapped out the way it did, which I've never seen before. So, yeah, let's uh, wrap this one up. Um, thank you guys for watching. Sorry I wasn't able to get that one open, and I'm not diving further into this one. But I hope I got accomplished what you wanted. Um, if not, leave me a comment. You know, Call me an idiot. Call me stupid. Whatever you want. Or tell me what you want to see me take apart. Uh, if you want to see me destroy this little one or that one to get into it. Um, if I need to order another one, because I'll probably destroy that one here in a minute off camera. Uh, let me know, and I'll get... I'll get it done. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Whenever the hell that is. If I ever upload again. Who knows. Uh, you guys have a good day. See you next time.